Hello, my ePlan Retail friends. Today I'm going to talk about this machine, the, the wire terminal. Indeed, um, it's quite interesting because out of a simple schematic like this and a simple 3D like this, we get the exact precision of the wire length. And as you can see, sometimes the wire goes out via the top and goes back in via the bottom. So we call this routing up or down. And actually, when we do the export here directly to the machine, to the Rital WT, there's a specific default setting here that will basically say everything that is routing up goes H, routing down goes T, L for left and right. And the result, of course, is to be seen in the exported file here. It's a simple text file. And you can see these HL, HR uh, right there, or TR and HR. Now, we can use this information to rotate the text because sometimes to just make it nice because you want to read it from left to right or from left to right. But of course, indeed, if you look at the wire end, they are actually reversed. So we have to think about a zero and a 180 degree angle. Now, how this is handled, it's quite smart. On one side, when you go to the Rital machine here and you have some basic settings I'm going to find here under the, uh, maybe we can zoom in a little bit here. This is actually directly the interface to the machine. And you can go here to the print text alignment and you can specify what are synonyms for zero text rotation and 180 text rotation. And you can see that I added TLTR in the 180 and zero, I added HL and HR. Now this of course will help me during the import process because technically this file, when it comes over to this side here on the retail side, of course, let's say we do a test new, we import this as a series order uh, this is just a sorting, and here is where I have like an import template that will be assigned or will be used while I import this. So, of course, when you do the upload like this, it automatically creates the order and everything is done. I don't have to worry about this anymore. In the orders now, I have this new order. Now, of course, how do I get access to this import setting to actually adapt it if I need to? It's simple. You go in the wire configuration into the import setting. Go to import setting. Sorry, somebody is calling me. I'm just going to turn it off two seconds. There we go. Finish this off. And here we can see the different settings, of course, what we are importing. And even more important is the print text mapping. Here I'm actually importing the wire number on both ends. If you double click on it, you will see that I do this on the source and on the other end, which is a target. And in both cases, you can pick at the second level here, the print text alignment, select a column or add free text. You can actually choose Quelle. This is the 10th uh, column that I pick. So basically in this list here is the column number 10 which actually says HR for the source, right? Quelle is always synonym for source. And if you do the same thing for the rotation at the target level, it's called Ziel, Z-I-E-L. So it's basically a little bit further down. If you actually move down here, you will see it. It's basically the TR or HL you will find here. It's called Ziel, Verlege Richtung Ziel, okay? So this is the one to be picked here. And of course, HR or TL will then be the interpretation of the angle. And when you do so, and you basically end up looking at the individual text, you will see that the individual text that actually came in will be imported uh, correctly, and it will be rotated. And this is how you get, uh, I believe I had a wire here, you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... On the right-hand side, the text is printed from left to right. On the left-hand side, it's printed the opposite direction, right? So when I plug it in, it actually always rotates in the right direction. If you have any questions, please call your ePlan Retail Rep, and they will be able to actually go in detail into this. And this is what produces these wires automatically without me having to calculate the length, 
do the crimping or the printing, right? In my secret here, I actually, if you buy the, the wires here in Canada, I will even add the source target information, source target information on both ends. This will pretty much eliminate the use of any kind of schematics when you do this, uh, the, the wiring. You just have to read what's on the wire, just plug it in the right connection point, and that's it. 30 seconds, one minute per wire. Good. You want to know how this works? Call us up, ePlan Canada, wireprint.com. We'll do it for you. Thank you. Bye.